Hello. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about the Robert Sorby Spindle Master. What it will do for you whenever you're doing any spindle work. The Spindle Master is a cross between two very usual tools. A spindle gouge and a skew chisel. The rounded nose and the curved bevel, similar to a gouge. A flat top without a flute and a steep bevel angle, similar to a skew. The beauty of the Spindle Master is we can use it in the way that we use a gouge, so we can roll our coves and our beads and things, but because of the way the tool works, it slices the grain like a skew chisel. Here we're using a very soft piece of very open grain pine. We'll just demonstrate what a spindle roughing gauge will do to it. So what, here we have torn fibres. Which is quite common in pine. So with a spindle master, as we said, we use it like a gouge, but it works like a skew. So we use it in the same way that we use any of our normal turning tools, basic principles of wood turning. So what we're going to do, we're going to rub the heel first, lift up the handle until we start to see a little bit of dust coming over the nose. That's then told us we've gone from heel to cutting edge, we've got full bevel contact. We don't want to lift anymore, otherwise we're going to take the bevel off. So then like any gouge, we then rotate in the direction we're going to cut. That determines our depth of cut, and then we slice through the wood. So, onto the heel. So we've got that chatter because we're working off the square. We lift up the handle. There we're starting to see that we've made full contact with the bevel. We rotate and we slide. Allowing that bevel to rub the surface. But as you can see, we've got shavings are just being pushed to one side. Exactly the same we would do whenever we would be using a skew chisel. As you can see, beautiful slicing cuts. The bevel on the Spindle Master is very, very highly polished. So this gives us this incredible, smooth, polished surface, even on a soft, open grain piece of wood like this. Because we have this polished, curved bevel, all we need to do to sharpen the Spindle Master is a diamond file or a honing stone, flat across the top face to give us our nice crisp sharp edge. So back to our piece of work, we can continue creating our cove. What we can do is create a bead or a ball. And what we can do is create an OG, so an inside curve followed by an outside curve. Because of this rounded bevel, it makes it very easy to do this lovely flowing action all the way around. All the way down the end grain. Absolutely perfectly highly polished. So, so a cove, bead, any normal shape that you would do with a, any spindle tool. Also it can be used to do slicing cuts, so sometimes if you have softwood, you get a tear, so what you would do with a, a 
parting tool or even a skew chisel, you can do a slicing cut to create a shoulder. We can do the same thing with the spindle master. So we pick it up, we can go straight in. To create our V cut, what we can do then is then come down to create our detail. Like any tool, we're working in the direction of cut. Because of the flat top, we can get right down in there. We can then finish that off. Come right in. Again, any detail work. Perfect crisp corners. Perfectly polished surface on an open grain timber. So a closer grain timber, you'll get an even better polished surface. Spindle Master is available in 19mm and also in 12mm. And we also produce a micro version of the 12mm for doing very, very fine detail work, such as pens, any type of doll's house materials, that type of thing. Hope you found that interesting about the Robert Sobey Spindle Master. Any questions, please ask after the end of the video. Thank you very much.